Hosea 5, verse 10. Coming into an area of a lot of vocabulary here. Hayu. They were Sare Yehuda, the princes of Judah, K like Masige Gavul. What's Gavul? The people have been in Israel, don't go by the Gavul. Gavul is a border, a boundary. So this Masi has to do with like taking things away or moving a boundary stone, which is of course forbidden. All right, we'll start in Devarim, Kafzayan. Pasuk Shva Esrei. So, uh, what is happening in this chapter? Deuteronomy 27 and 28. Cursings and blessings. So now you know it's going to be one or the other. Arur is a curse. Masig, this is the, the present tense of, uh, I mean, it's a he feel, right? The mover of the boundary of his re'ehu, his neighbor or his friend. Va'amar kol ha'am amen. Amen. Yeshayahu nun tet. Pasuk arba esre. All right, so what do we say? This is to move or take away. So husag, this is a different form, right? It's some kind of a passive form. And what is moved here? Where is it moved? Achor. It's moved backwards. And what is moved? Mishpat is judgment or justice. And tzedakah. Righteousness is rachuk, far ta'amod, standing far away. Why? Kashla. You remember kashla? We've been... Stumble. Stumble. Okay, we've done it a lot. Barachov emet. Uh-huh. What's Truth. stumbled? Truth. Truth has stumbled in the streets. And this uh, nechocha, nechocha is like the tochacha we had uh, last week. Rebuke. That's right. Reproach. Lo tuchal lavo. It can't come. It can't show up. It can't be seen. Because the people are, obviously he's, uh, he's wailing on them because all the people are evil. So all these things, when people are evil, this is what happens. Tuchal. It is not able. She is not able. And it's she because nechocha is feminine. All right. So we're back in Hosea 5.10. All right. So the princes of Judah are like the movers of the boundary stone. They have taken away a boundary stone. This is forbidden, so they are in trouble. Alehem, on them, eshpoch, I will pour out, kamayim, like water, evrati. So now we have another interesting thing. We've had a lot of these words that have a very stretched and multiple meaning. What is the root here? Avar. And what is avar? To cross over. Cross over, that makes you an ivri. It makes you Hebrew, right? That's the point, that Hebrews are crossed over. We have this ba'avur, uh-huh, for the sake of or because of. And now we have this evra. And this has to do, well, he's pouring it out like mayim, <laughs> right? So whatever it is, it's, it's flowing and it's having this idea of flowing out and crossing over which doesn't tell you at all what it is. <laughs> it's anger. Okay, It's an outpouring of wrath. Uh, because of all this, I'm going to pour out my anger like water. When you pour out water, psh, it just goes. It's not like pouring out oatmeal, which might go, but kind of slow. Verse 511. So there's a lot of words in here we don't know. And the first one is ashuk. Uh, it, mean, it means uh, oppress. All right, so we're going to look at some, of course, starting in Vayikra, Yudtet. Pasuk shalosh esrei. Okay, a bit, a bit of complex stuff here. All right, so do not oppress who? Your friend or your neighbor. Lo tigzol, do we steal? Gazal means to steal. Do not steal. Okay, you got your little uh, halfway marker under that. New thought. Lo talin. Lalun, what is it? To spend the night. To spe- to, yeah, don't let something spend the night. We're going to find out. Pu'ulat. From pa'al, po'el, work, sachir, like yisachar, the earnings, itcha, with yourself, ad boker. So you don't keep the wages of a hired person overnight. You pay him when he's finished working. Okay, that's what all that means. All right, do not oppress your neighbor. All right, devarim, kaf, dalin, lo, ta'ashok. Do not oppress sachir, oni, ve'evion. What is a sachir? The, the wage, the wages, wage worker. Ani, 
poor. Evion, also poor. There's two words. Evion ve'ani. Uh-huh. And me'achecha, from your brothers. O is or. Or the gear. Okay, it's not okay. You're saying it's your gear. Well, it's a stranger. What? Asher ba'artzecha b'sha'arecha. Who is in your land or in your gate. That's why he's your gear. If he's somebody else's gear, I guess you, it's okay to oppress him. No. <laughs> the point is, you don't, you don't oppress anybody. Mishle kafbet sheshesre. Where's the middle of the verse? At the low, okay? So, oshek da lahabad lo. Then a new idea, noten la'ashir, ach la machsor. Okay, so here's the oppressor of the doll. What is a doll? He's also another poor person. He's a lowly person, rega. And why is he doing it? Laharbot lo. To increase himself. Okay, if you oppress the poor person, to increase yourself. Noten, the one who is giving. Okay, these are participles, right? Oshek and noten, they're participles. They're doing it all the time. Laashir, to the rich person. What will happen to him? Le machsor chaser. He will be in want. Well, if they take the money to uh, give to other rich people. Rich people, there's a rich robbing the rich to give to the rich. <laughs> One more. Zacharya Zion. Pasuk eser almana. We have, I think, never done as a widow. Uh, what about yatom? The orphan. Okay, the ger we just talked about. The ani we just talked about. Al ta'ashku. Do not don't oppress, don't oppress them. Now, this is kind of a bit out of order. We'll have to figure out where everything goes. Ra'at ish achiv. The evil of the man of his brother to his brother. Al tachshavu chashev. Don't think about where? Belavachem, in your heart. Do not, uh, do not think or plan evil for your brother. The man should not think or plan evil for his brother in his heart. So, we have covered one word in Hosea 5.11. Ashuk Ephraim. Okay, there's oppression going on in Ephraim. And there's also Ritsu, which we also don't know. I guess it might also be uh, considered a kind of oppression, but the idea of it is breaking into tiny bits. So it also is sometimes translated as oppression. And we're going to start in Bereshit Kafhe. Pasuk Esrim Mishtayim. So who has banim in her kirba? Rebecca. And, and, and so this is in the Hitpa'el, the Hitratzet. Do you remember how it's translated? Striving, struggling. Okay, they're struggling with each other. So it's a Hitpa'el. They're not exactly breaking each other to bits, but we have this idea, you know, one forcing the other one and the other one forcing the other one. Okay, so they're doing this together, but kirba in her inside. Tomer, she said, Imken, if this is so, lama ze anochi. Why this? Why am why is this happening to me? Why do I feel like this? Vitelech lidrosh. She went to inquire of Yahweh. Okay, shoftim tet chamishim v'shalosh. Oh, this is a nice story, isn't it? So shalach. This is not shalach send. This is shalach with a kaf, which is more like to cast forth or to throw. Who did the throwing? Isha Achat, one certain woman. And she, what she cast forth was a Pelech Rechev. The Rechev comes from Rechav, which means to ride. The Rakhevet is riding. Okay, the Pelech are the millstones. So this is the millstone that rides. The under one stays still, and the top one goes around, right? So she takes the upper millstone, that's how we know it's the upper one, and she cast it al rosh evimelech. Not so good. Vitarit. And it broke to bits, right? It smashed and oppressed his, his gul gul, gul gul gul. So you know about this. It's very round. Gugolet, his skull. One more. Yeshayahu. Membet. Pasuk shalosh. Good. And what is this chapter about? Isaiah 42? The suffering servant. Kana. Kana is really, it's a, 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 a cognate for the word cane. It means a reed. It's like a cane, like a, like a bamboo cane or something. It's a reed, and it is uh, ratsuts. It's broken. It's splintered. Okay. 
However, lo yishbor, it's not broke. Fishta is um, flax, sometimes translated as linen. Keha is means kind of like dark, but here the idea is that it's a smoldering ember. However, lo yi kabena kabe means to put out, particularly a light. So it will not be extinguished. You know this verse, right? To emet, he will bring forth justice, judgment. Smoldering, a bruised reed, he will not break. A smoldering flax, he will not. It says he will not quench, but it's he will not be quenched. He shall bring forth justice for truth. Okay? So this is a little bit broad for Ratsuts, but it's broken, and it also can mean oppressed. So back in Hosea 5.11, crime is Press justice, mishpat, judgment, is broken into a million pieces. They're just not doing well. They're not doing right. Ki ho'il. So we have one more word. I mean, out of six words, we needed to do three. Sorry. The root is ya'al. And it means to do willingly. And it's always, what binyan do you perceive this to be? He feel. So remember, in he feel, when you have a verb that begins with yud, you get this o. Ho'il. Breshit, yudchet. Pasuk esrim v'sheva. All right, what is Ya'an? And he answered Abraham, and he said, Behold, please, I have done this willingly. What did he do? Lidaber, el Adonai. And it says Adonai. Ve'anochi. And I. I am afar ve'efer. What is it? Dust and ashes. Okay, afar is dust. It's what the man is made out of. And efer is ashes what you get when you burn. So it's nice, they're cognates. And that makes a lot of sense. Okay, he took it upon himself to speak to God. All right, Shemot Bet, Pasuk Esrim Ve'echan, Yofi. Who's the man that he's going to live with? Jethro. How do you say his name in Hebrew? Yitro. V'yo'el Moshe, and he was content. He did it willingly, okay? Lashevet, to dwell with a man, and he gave him Sephora, his daughter. Uh, one more. Divrei Hayamim Aleph. Remember it? Divrei Hayamim. And where is it in your Bible? The very end. Uh, Perek Yud Zion, Pasuk Esrim Vesheva. Okay, so David is speaking to Yehovah. He says what? Vieta? Okay, and now, willingly, please do this willingly. Take it upon yourself, Levarech, Beit Avdecha, the house of your servant, speaking of himself, Lehiot, Leolam Lefanecha, forever in your face. Let me be forever before you. Don't get anybody, if you get in somebody's face, you won't be there forever. Because <laughs> they'll punch you out. Ki Ata, you, Yahweh, Berachta, come on, figure it out. This is a grammar question. Which one is it? You bless people. And what's the other one? Mivorach. And you are blessed. Hallelujah. We can finish the sentence. 511. Yeah. Well, we can almost finish. We have, to, no. we have to figure something else out. Okay? So, Ephraim is oppressing. The uh, judgment, justice, is smashed into a million pieces. Why? Because he is willingly, ho'il, halach, walking, achare, after. after what? Tzav. It's a command. Well, this is a problem. If he's willingly walking after the commandment, what is his problem? Bidiyuk, it's like not God's commandment. You don't see this tzav as God's commandment. What do you see when it's God's commandment? Mitzvah. Ah, hey, that's it. <laughs> one comes from God and one doesn't. I do know that it's not turtles. <laughs> yeah, that was my next question. <laughs> turtles. Turtle like a turtle. Oh, like bots. I got it. I got it. I got it. Bots. Remember bots? He was the turtle. So that's a problem. He's walking after man-made commandments. He's not walking after God's commandment. Are we 512? I'm going to be like an ash. Ash is a moth. Well, we have talked about moth before, but we learned a different word. We learned the word sauce, which is vaguely related to this. And we're going to see this. Well, we'll see these two words uh, in tandem in a minute. And also like a rakhev, rakhav. So rakhav is not like the rakhevet. The rakhevet is spelled with a kaf to ride. The train is rakhevet. You know another word with this root, merkava, is an ancient chariot. And what is it in the ma? 
a tank. All right, but this is rakav with a kuf, and it means rottenness. Eov, Yud Gimel, your friend Eov, the hardest book to find because everybody's is in, it's in a different uh, pasuk esrim vishmona. So here's the rakav and the ash together. What is happening to the man? He's like rottenness, like bala, he's being eaten up. Rottenness is consuming him. And like a beged, like a clothing, the moth is eating the clothing. Okay? Well, Job's just not a very happy book. All right, one more. <laughs> Mishle Yudalid. Okay, is a verse you know. Pasuk Shloshim. Chaye Besarim. The life of the flesh is mirape, rafe, healy heart. A sound heart, a healed heart, is life to the body. However, rakav, rottenness of the atzamot, of the bones, and what causes that? Kin ah, here's your Allah, here's your kana with an Allah, gels. Envy causes rottenness. So let's finish 512, so nice. I, Yehovah, God says, am like a moth to Ephraim and like rottenness to the house of Yehuda. It's not going to have a good outcome. Okay, He's going to eat them up. Why? They're doing bad. They're following men's commandments. They're not keeping mishpat, justice, uh, tzedakah, righteousness, nothing. We will have class next week. Yay.